YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Steph, man. About to go hit these legs, man. Man, hope you guys enjoy this video. Y'all already know, man. I got to show y'all my favorite cologne, you know what I'm saying? This right here. Let it love, let it love. Is it gonna load in? Can y'all see that? x batch Pineapple Vintage Intense. Smells so damn good, man. So, y'all wanna know, like, man, what cologne you use that, that the ladies love? Hey, this cologne right here, bro, is the shit. But, uh, gonna uh, show y'all this video, man. Show y'all what I'm eating after, man. And holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Yo, what it do, man? Y'all already know who it is. So, just wanna show you guys a little workout because guys are always asking, you know, telling me, Steph, we seen enough of your upper body workouts. Do you train legs? Uh, what's your leg workout? Man, I train legs, bro. So, uh, I always start off my leg workouts with lying hamstring curls. Um, I did 12 reps here. You cannot see the weight, um, but the weight was uh, moderate. And then, like the last three sets, I did heavy weight. Um, and now right here, I'm warming up my quads, which I usually do after um, my hamstring curl, right? So right here, just warming up the quads, 10, 10 reps, you know, each leg, 9 and 10 reps each leg to get the quads warmed up. And this is just a warm-up set. I always do one warm-up set until I follow through with uh, three to six working sets, depending on, you know, how hard I want to go on the muscle, depending on what I want to do. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that's one of the most important things fellas we always want to focus on working sets but do warm-up sets before we start a working set now this is a working set for me right i'm squeezing at the top i'm feeling my quads so i know they are engaged and i'm just going hard with each rep feeling the muscle in each rep that i'm going through i'm not trying to go out of control i'm just trying to feel each rep that i'm doing i'm squeezing at the top right um, it's a really great exercise uh, to, to bring out separation in your quads if that's what you're looking for you know i'm a bodybuilder i like to bodybuild i know a lot, a lot of people guys on this channel are not bodybuilders but that's cool the next exercise is uh one of my least favorite but it does get the job done it's, it's like i have to bring up my quads my quads and my back are like my weak points on my physique uh, i feel like everything else is like not like hella good but they're great like you know what I'm saying? They're, they're they're good they can definitely still come up but um this is a really great exercise it's just like a hack squat but it's a hack press and it's putting all the pressure on your quads like all four heads on your quads just hitting all that pressure so it was real tough man but you know we got to keep up um, this is kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a hack squat but it's a hack press um, it's a really difficult machine because it's loading all the weight on your quads, right? So a lot of people, you know how you do some quads, people, you want to start using quad focused workouts, quad focused exercises so like front squats, back squats, um, single leg leg presses with your feet lower on the platform. The lower my feet is, the more quads I'm getting, okay? So we do 10 to 12 right here, man, three plates. Let's get it. Alright fellas, now we bringing it over to um, single leg leg press. Um, this is a really, really hard movement. <laughs> Shout out to my boy JSPK Fitness. Um, I seen you doing this movement, bro. And this is a really great movement. It's a really hard movement. A lot of guys can leg press, you know, a lot of plates at one time. But some guys, most guys have muscle imbalances. So if you do have muscle imbalances or you want, you know, to um, bring up both legs, and you make sure the other leg is not taking full control of the other one, 
then I recommend single leg. Man, this this is a really great exercise. This is a really great exercise. And I like to do, like, I train high volume. I train, um, this is somewhat heavy to me. Um, it, it might not be heavy to you, but to me, this is heavy. Uh, for, for 10 to 12 reps, um, six sets, um, that's heavy. That's heavy weight, bro. That's high volume. You can see that hamstring down there, like, hanging <laughs> as I'm going down on the weight. But um, I'm just trying to really push myself, man. And you really got to be a different beast. When you're training legs, you know, a lot of guys, they just come in the gym and they just squat and then they do leg press and then they leave like, nah, bro, we doing squats, hack squats, leg press, walking lunges, reverse lunges, um, line, uh, um, ham, uh, um, hamstring curls, leg extensions. We're working every head of the muscles, right? Because we want our physiques to be fully developed. Well, that's what I want. You know, I don't know what you guys want, but, you know, I want my physique to be fully developed. And the only way your physique can be fully developed is if you are really working on your physique. You're really working on all areas in your physique. If you're just working on, you know, your strong points and not bringing up your weak points, then you're going to have muscle imbalances. Uh, your physique going to look funny and you won't be, you your physique won't be impressive if that's the goal, if you want an impressive physique. So that's just my, my two cents on that. You know what I'm saying? Deadlifts. The whole purpose of this movement is to work your hamstrings. This ain't you ain't trying to work your lower back. It's, it's, it's not a fucking deadlift, right? I don't deadlift. Now, if I'm working out with the homies, I'm working out with y'all. We ever do a meet and greet sometime. Whenever that time comes, I deadlift with y'all, right? But this whole movement is to work the fucking hamstrings, okay? The whole purpose of this movement, follow me, is when I'm when I'm going down, I'm trying to stick my butt out. Come in so they can see me. When I'm going down, I'm trying to stick my butt out as I'm going down. So I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. But I'm doing this as I'm going down. I'm trying to stick my ass out. So when I'm going down, that's what this is all I'm trying to do. No fucking homo. As I'm going down, that's all I'm trying to do. You will put it all up in your hands. Just stick your ass out and watch me. I'm going to do 20. Okay? 20. So I'm doing reverse lunges with uh, 240, 40, uh, 240 pound kettlebells. Now I'm stepping back as far as possible to hit my hamstrings and my outer quad sweep, right? So I'm doing five steps back. I know y'all probably couldn't read in the beginning, but I'll just tell y'all five steps back and then five in place. So five in place, just like that. And then a four to five second hold after that, holding it right there. And I did this for five sets. So both legs so both legs is one so i did both legs like that's five sets both legs that's one another both legs that's two another both legs that's three etc and etc that's what i did for five working sets and let me tell you something bro like i said in the last clip you gotta be a different beast when it comes to training legs you you, you gotta really be a training period man like you, you gotta be a beast man if you really want to make improvements if you really want to make progress man you gotta really want this shit much as bad as you want to chase chase chicks and, and get chicks you gotta chase them games too baby so uh this might not seem like a lot of a lot of weight but y'all gotta understand that certain machines bro they carry over with the attachment have so much stress on your quick calves so at the old gym, like at the field house, I can load up in place and do the strict form. 
Now, I don't know what up two plates to do strip for them. I pull the muscle doing it like this because of how this tabs machine is set up. Different machines are set up different ways to put different type of stress on the muscle. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta always keep that shit in mind, man. Like, this shit ain't no joke, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm doing 10 to 15 reps, man. I'm gonna do four sets. Man, look, bro. A lot of motherfuckers in this gym don't train, bro. A lot of motherfuckers is here going through the places, going through the motions. Motherfuckers in this gym do not train. When you train, when you go to the gym to train to get thoughts, we just are hearing bullshit. It's a difference, man. When you in the gym get it in, or when you in the gym just bullshit. It shows. It shows, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna hit the plate again. Watch how I do these. Watch how I do these. Alright? And as always, I train arms every day. Because I do glucose overload on my arms. Stefan, don't train the muscle. Stefan! Um, Stefan! Um, don't train the muscle every day! Um, that's overtraining! Shut the fuck up! Shut your fucking skinny ass up! Training my arms every goddamn day. You know them dudes in prison? You see how big they is? He was doing push-ups, dips, sit-ups, leg extensions, all that shit every day. Every day. Why well, I can't do it every day? Why well, I can't do it every day? So I want my arms to grow. When I'm hitting arms, I'm hitting tries, buys, and forearms. Now look, I'm not doing multiple exercises. I'm picking one exercise, do 100 to 200 reps with some heavy to moderate weight, perfect form, and then I'm done. Now, Stefan, I know y'all gonna ask me this question. So, because here, here it comes. So, what about the other day? Like, what if it's a day that you're working arms? Well, if it's a day that I'm working arms, guess what? I'm still going to train my arms. Look, man, I really do this shit. I take this shit serious. If, you know, don't give me the excuse on why you're not making gains. The only reason why you're not making gains is because of you, not me, G. That's the only reason why you're not making gains. That's the only reason why you're not making gains, right? See, I rolled my shoulder blades back, man. I'm trying to get all that bicep action. I need all bicep action. That's all I need is bicep action. Then I'm a superset with the reverse curls. Hey, man. High massive action. High volume brings crazy results. Brings crazy results. I'm telling y'all, I know this shit. Y'all better look at dudes like Chris Jones. High volume. You see his back? His back is like that because he did weighted pull-ups every day when he was my age. Look at him now. Alright, so. About to head and grab some food, man. That was pretty much the leg workout that I did. Um, I'm dead, bro. That was like a fast. That was fasting. Like, I ain't eat shit this morning. All I had was my pre-workout. Um, my pre-lux blue and my body that I take every morning. So. Um, ooh, yeah, I'm dead, but I'm finna, uh, today like, like my little reefy or cheat day or whatever the fuck you call it. And I'ma, um, I'ma, uh, have me some, like, fajita steak tacos and some fajita steak nachos, and that'll be it for the day for me, but just wanted to show y'all, man, and then take y'all with me after I'm done working out and, like, show y'all, like, what I do and shit, you know, show y'all, you know, um, what I be eating. Well, today is a cheat cheat meal for me, but usually after I'm done working out, man, I have my Herbalife shake, have me a meal, man. That's about it. It's not it's not hard. Let me tell y'all something about uh, what I did after I trained legs. Like I said, I'm doing arms every day. So only reason why I'm training my arms every day because I want my arms bigger and want my arms to grow. So when I say arm, I mean bicep, tricep, and the forearm. I want all all three parts to grow so i'm hitting them every day um rest is very important you know hydrating is very important you know what i'm saying make sure you're hydrating your, your body make sure your muscles are hydrated it's 
very important. A gallon or two gallons of water a day. And um, that's about it, man. So, about to head to this Mexican restaurant. Y'all know I love Mexican food. So, I'll let y'all later, man. All right, here go my nachos, fellas. GAF, good as a bitch. And I got my tacos right here. I ordered flour, but they gave me corn, man. It's all good. Got three tacos, man. Got another taco right here. And I got my salsa. Got my chips, some cheetah chips to go with it. They stingy as fuck with my shit, man. But I'ma still fuck it up. Um, that's the vlog for today, fellas. Y'all want some red peel content? All right, fellas, so that is the video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just, you know, leg workout and, you know, just showing y'all throughout the day on what I do after the workout and shit like that. But um, if you guys want my latest red pill content and, um, you know, movie reviews and, and, you know, just being a part of a great community, uh, join into it, she motherfucking bus gang. The link is in the description and the link is in the comment section. Also known as the Patreon. You pay $5 a month, man. You get unlimited access to all of my cold ass shit that you two have not seen yet. And um, you guys want online coaching, uh, stepiscode.com. You want a consultation, stepiscode.com. And that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.